Hello, everyone. A call to action on the 34th anniversary of the Morgenthaler case. The first Ontario Bill C-4 office bearer training event took place last week and finally preaching on Biblical Sexuality Sermon Sunday. It's Wednesday, January 19th, and this is Quick Updates. So January 28th marks 34 years since the Supreme Court struck down the criminal code provision for abortion in the Morgenthaler case. Here's Elise. January 28th is the anniversary of the Morgenthaler decision, the day that the court struck down Canada's only abortion law. Since then, we've had no law. So next week, Friday, January 28th, we're asking you to speak up and take action. Here are three things that you can do. Contact your Member of Parliament and ask them to put forward legislation that will protect pre-born children. We have postcards that you can use. Organize a Signs Up demonstration with signs that say Canada has no abortion law or protect pre-born human rights. Do it for one hour with a group of friends. Make your own signs. Be creative. Lastly, letters to the editor are a great way to share this message with a broader audience. Contact us at info at weneedalaw.ca and we'll send you postcards, we'll send you a sample letter to the editor, as well as help you coordinate a signs up in your area. Thanks so much, Elise. Now, the first of four office bearer training sessions on the implications of Bill C-4 took place this past weekend, and Pastor Gerald Prose was one of those who took part in the Friday and Saturday sessions. Recently, ARPA Canada organized various conferences, and they are still in the process of doing so, regarding the ramifications of the acceptance of Bill C-4 in Canadian Parliament. It is very useful that ARPA has taken this initiative, because as churches, we could be in dangerous waters, that we could be held accountable for our biblical principles. So it is very good to visit these conferences to see what the ramifications would be of this bill and how we as churches can protect ourselves and assure that we will have freedom and liberty of speech and that we can maintain our adherence to the whole Word of God. I can strongly recommend that you visit these conferences. They give lots of practical hints and also examples of what is happening in our society today. And the reality is often worse than we think it to be. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor Prose. If you'd like to attend one of the upcoming sessions, go to arpacanada.ca to sign up. Now, last week we talked about several initiatives being arranged across the country to respond to Bill C-4, which banned conversion therapy. We asked one pastor from British Columbia to share how he took part. My name is Gary Vanderveen, and I'm the pastor of Christ Covenant Church, a congregation in Langley, B.C. Last week, I participated in the Biblical Sexuality Sermon Sunday, and this is why. Marriage is a lifelong bond between one man and one woman, ordained by God for human flourishing. Since God created us as sexual beings and has provided marriage as the only place for sexual relations, we flourish sexually when we embrace marriage. I could put it this way. God is against sexual relations outside of the bond of marriage because God is pro-human flourishing, and we can only flourish when we embrace God's creation design. God's design is always best. I encourage pastors to teach on the Christian sexual ethic regularly because we all need to understand that God is in favor of sex, and so he has ordained marriage for our good. Thank you, Pastor Gary Vanderveen. Now that's it for quick updates. Thanks to you for watching. Please do like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next week.